Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 5, form 3, topic 3, we were dealing with the chemical properties of alkanes and the uses of alkanes. So today, lesson 6, we want to proceed to the second class of hydrocarbons, which are alkenes. So let's start to know what alkenes are. And we're saying alkenes are a group of hydrocarbons which contain at least a double bond between two carbon atoms in a molecule and we are going to have something like this a double bond so that's how the double bond will look like next we are saying hydrocarbons in which at least one double bond or a triple bond are present in the molecule are said to be unsaturated hydrocarbons so we're saying alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons so we're saying next the presence of the double bond in alkenes is easily broken to accommodate more atoms and it determines the chemical properties of alkenes. Okay, next, we are saying the functional group for alkenes is the double bond. And here we have the organic compound or the hydrocarbon that we are dealing with alkenes and it has a suffix of E and E and this functional group will be a double bond. So in between two carbon atoms, we have a double bond. So next, let us see the sources of alkenes. And we are saying alkenes are obtained from cracking of long chain alkenes. We said during cracking, uh, short chain alkenes, alkenes, and also hydrogen gas are produced. So next, we are going to proceed to see the nomenclature of alkenes. And we are saying the naming of alkenes is similar to that of alkenes. Alkenes have names which end with the suffix E and E. Remember, alkenes, they were having their suffix A and E. So, alkenes, they are going to have E and E. We are saying alkenes have a general formula of C N H 2 n where N represents the number of carbon atoms in a molecule. And in bracket, we are saying n can be equal to 2 or 3 or 5 or 6 and so on and so forth. Remember, the general formula for alkane was CnH2n plus 2. But when we are dealing with alkene, it is only CnH2n. There is no plus 2. You have to know that. Okay, next we are saying the first member of alkene series is ethene and it is written C2H4. Remember, when we're dealing with alkene, the first member was called methane, and we were writing CH4 like that. So here, the first member is from ethene. It's not methane. There's nothing called methane. And we're told, we are told because we are told because at least two carbon atoms are necessary for a double bond to be formed. So the prefix that stands for two carbon atom is F. So let's start with, let's add with the suffix for alkene. So the first member is ethene. We cannot have something called methene. There's nothing called methene. Because we are told we cannot form a double bond with only one carbon. So at least two carbon atoms are necessary for the double bond to be formed. Okay, we are moving. We are saying the table below shows the names, the molecular formula, the structural and skeleton formula, of the first six members of alkene series. Let's see that table. In this table, we have the number of carbon atoms. Here, we're having the name of the alkene, the molecular formula. It is open structural formula. It is condensed structural formula. And it is a skeleton structure or skeleton formula. So we start with ethene. So ethene has two carbon atoms. So to write the formula for ethene, we just Put the formula of alkene here. The formula for alkene, you say the CnH2n. And we are told where n is the number of carbon atoms. So n can be 2. Here, yeah? n is 2 in our case when we are dealing with ethene. So let's substitute 2 to where we see n. So it will be C2H2 times n, which is 2. 2 times 2 is just 4. So that means we are writing ethene as C2H4 as it is 
molecular formula. If you proceed to propene, propene has three carbon atoms, so it will be C3, then H2 times 3 will be 6, like that. Then we go to butene, butene has four carbon atoms, so it will be C4, then H2 times 4 is 8, so C, C4, H8, that will be it is molecular formula. When we proceed to benzene, benzene has five carbon atoms, so it will be C5, H2 times 5 is 10, C5, H10 will be it is molecular formula. So we proceed to hexene, hexene has six carbon atoms, so it will be C6, H12, that means six times two or two times six is 12. Then heptene has seven carbon atoms, so it will be C7, then H7 times two is 14, so the molecular formula for heptene will be C7, and H14. So last, you can try on your own to look for uh, octene, nonine, and also decene. Can we proceed to the open structural formula? So if you want to know the open structural formula for ethene, I have to know how many carbon atoms do I have in ethene. I have only two carbon atoms. So in between them, I'm supposed to have a double bond. In between two carbon atoms, at least a double bond must be present. So let's just try to check how many bow bonds are required in each carbon. We have to have four. So I have two here, three, four. That one is full. One, two, three, four. This one is full. So I have to fill all the empty bonds with hydrogen. So that means we are going to have two, uh, C2, then we have a one, two, three, four, H4. So that's how you write the open structural formula for ethene. So we proceed to propene, we do the same. How many carbon do we have in propene? We have three. One, two, three. So we put the first one in the double bond. So this one is remaining to have two more bonds for it to have four bonds. One, two, three, four. This one is having one, two, three already. It's requiring only one. And this one requires three more bonds. So we fill everywhere hydrogen. Hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. This is how we draw the open structural formula for propene. It will be just the same. So if you count the number of carbon atoms at 3, that's C3. And this uh, molecular formula, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 6 hydrogen. So we proceed next to butene. We want to do the open structural formula for butene. It has 4 carbon. So I have to draw the 4. So it will be 1, 2, Three, four. I will put the first one to be double, then I'm going to have something like this. So fill everywhere with, with hydrogen. Remember carbon has a balance of four. So you check each carbon is supposed to have four bonds there. So this one has one, two, three, four. 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 So this is how you are supposed to draw the open structural formula for butene. So you can do them for benzene, hexene, and heptene, and you can check your answer on on, uh, on the beach. Okay, we proceed next to the condensed structural formula. You can do condensed structural formula in two ways. The first way, you have to check from the open structural formula. For example, I want to do the condensed structural formula for ethene. So I have to check the first carbon, how many carbon atoms, how many hydrogen atoms has attached to only two. Then what I can do is I can show the double bond or I can lift the double bond. There's no problem. Then I go to the second carbon, how many hydrogen has it attached to two. So this is how you draw the condensed structural formula for ethene. Let's proceed to propene. Propene has three carbon so we check here the first carbon is linked to two hydrogen as you see here then the second carbon has only one hydrogen as you see here the third carbon is having three hydrogen as you see there so if you are talking about maybe butene you check the first carbon is having two hydrogen then the second is having one hydrogen the third is having two hydrogen as you can see from here then the fourth one is having three hydrogen so this one, we are using the open structural formula to draw the condensed structural formula. But during the exam, if you just been told to draw the, the condensed structural formula for propene, maybe for propene. So for you to draw open structural formula and to convert to condensed structural formula takes a lot of time. So we can use a small formula when you are dealing with the with the structures, condensed structural formulas for alkenes, the formula is that the first carbon always has two hydrogen. Then we're having a double bond. You can show the double bond or you can leave the, the double bond. Then the second carbon is having only one hydrogen. So after that, in between 
the second and all the way to the last the last carbon has three hydrogen so what is in between the second and the last they are going to have only two, two hydrogen so you ask yourself if you are dealing with butene how many carbon you have in butene four carbon so the first carbon will have two hydrogen the second will have one the third will have two then the fourth will have three so if you are dealing with maybe propene, propene, so that means the first carbon has two hydrogen, the second carbon has only one hydrogen, then the third carbon, that's already the last carbon, it's having three hydrogen. That's how we also drew the condensed structural formula for alkene compounds. Okay, we proceed to naming of alkenes, and we're saying naming of alkenes is based on the following on the following rules. So the first rule, we are told to determine to determine the parent name of the alkene, you have to identify the longest carbon chain containing the double bond. For example, here we are having propene, we are having this structure. I have to get the parent name. So for me to get the parent name, I have to count first of all the longest carbon chain. So this is one, two, three. It has now three carbon atoms. So I'm dealing with the alkene because of the double bond, my parent name will be propene. That would be how my parent name should be written. If we check this, I have to first of all look the parent name by counting the number of carbon atoms in the longest chain. One, two, three, four carbon atoms. So it will be thin because I'm having double bond. If it could be only single, single bond, I could have said protein. Okay, the second rule is that number the carbon atoms in the longest carbon chain starting from the end near to the double bond. The double bond should be given the lowest possible number okay like here we have here the double bond so when we are numbering we're not supposed to number from this side we cannot say one two three because the double bond will be in between two and three but if we number from the side near up the double bond it will be having number one which is the lowest impossible number so we will number from one two three so in in our case here to to name this we are going to say the longest chain is bro Propene, so I have to know the number to which the, the double bond is attached to. So I'm going to put prop, then I write dash one, then I write dash in like that. If I check this one, we count from, from the left to the right. In the two cases, the double bond is between carbon number one and carbon number two. In the naming, the lower position is used. Next, we are told number three indicate indicate the positions of the substituent group by showing the position of the carbon atom to which they are attached. For example, the structures should be like we have this case. So the double bond is here. So I have to count from one, two, three. So my parent name is Brop. So I have to write Brop. Then the double bond is in carbon number one, one, and then I'm going to have E. Then I will go back to the attachment, which is methyl attachment here. So it will be in carbon number two. And the name of the attachment is methyl attachment. So if we check this, we're having how many carbon atoms? One, two, three, four. So that means my bar and the name will be boot. Then I have to check to which uh, the carbon to which the double bond is attached to. If I count from here, it will be one, two. The double, bo the double bond is in carbon number two. If even I count from left to right, it will be one, two. So I'm going to have two. Then I'm going to write in there. So I check whether I have an attachment. I have an attachment here. So I have to count from this side, from right to left, because that's where the methyl attachment is near. So I'm going to have two methyl. So two methyl, uh, both two in. That's how you see there. So next, let's go to examples. We have to name the fluid compounds. At A, I'm supposed to name this compound. So the first step, I have to get the parent name. How will I get the parent name? By first of all, counting the number of carbon atoms in the longest chain. So here I have one carbon, two, three, four carbon. So that will be, I'm going to write first of all, the prefix that stand for carbon number four. So that will be but. The number two, I have to know where the double bond is. The double bond is there. So I have to number from both sides. If I count from it, it will be one, two. If the double bond is in carbon number two, and if I count from this side, it will be one, two still. So it will be two dash. Do you have another double bond? No, it's only one. So I have to put dash. Then I write the, the suffix for key. Then do you have an attachment? No, we don't have any attachment. 
so that means this is the name of the compound or the IU pack of this compound so next we have to name this compound here naming this compound we have to do the same first of all I have to know the parent name the prefix for the parent name so I have to count how many carbon atoms we have one two three four five so that will be paint I have to write paint then I have to know where where is the double bond it is here so I have to start from here numbering so it will be one then I go in that's the suffix do you have an attachment there's no attachment there so let's proceed to question number C we are supposed to name this compound or give the IU pack name of this compound so the first step I have to know the parent name so here for us to know the parent name we have to count the number of carbon atoms in the longest chain so if we see here we have one two three four five so we have to write the prefix that stands for carbon number five that's spent okay let's see whether we have a double bond so we have two double bonds one is there the other one again is here so if we start from here it will be one two so the beta is here one two three four five numbering the carbon atoms so that means the first double bond is in the carbon number one comma what about the second the second double bond is in carbon number three and carbon number four so we have to pick the lowest number so that's three then we put the dash of course we don't have a third double bond so we are going to write die to show that i've gotten two double bonds then i will end up with the suffix that's in so do we have an attachment yes we have an attachment here so that's the name of the attachment is called boromo then it is attached to carbon number four so our answer will be four boromo bent one three die in that's how we are supposed to name so we proceed to birth d and we are going to, to name this compound or give the iu pack name of this compound so first of all we have to start with the the parent name so the parent name we count the, the number of carbon atoms in the longest chain so we have one two three four five so the prefix that stands for carbon number five is paint so next we check uh, the double bonds where are they so i have here three double bonds so when i'm counting if i write from here when i'm numbering if i number from here one the double bond will be in carbon number two but if i number from this side it will be in carbon number one so I have to count from right going to the left so this is three this is four and this is five so that means the first double bond is in carbon number one comma the second double bond is in carbon number two comma the third one is again carbon number three then i don't have a fourth one so i have three double bonds so i have to write try then i end with the with the suffix for alkene that's in so do we have an attachment yes we have an attachment called methyl attachment and that methyl attachment is in carbon number four so I have to write four methyl pent one two three try in that's how we're going to name our compound okay we go to the last one that's e we are supposed to name this compound the first step I have to know my parent name how do I know that we count the number of carbon atoms in the longest chain so I have one two three four five so that's still pent the brief the prefix there is bent so dash we have uh, only one double bond we don't see another double bond so that double bond is in carbon number one so we say in that mean numbering we start from here one two three four five so i have two attachment of methyl so one is in carbon number two then the other one is in carbon number four as you see this is the attachment so four then i have dye then i have to put the methyl that's how i name that compound so it will be two four dimethyl bent one in that's how you name the compound